Well, today's vibe on the streets, the battle of the bond kings. Double line capitals Jeffrey Gunlock is expecting a pullback in treasuries, telling CNBC, I guess that we will see the 10-year tre treasury yield in the low threes sometime next year. But PIMCO co-founder Bill Gross is singing a different tune, posting on X that the 10-year yield falling to 3% in 2024 is farcical. Wow. All right. Fighting words there over Twitter. Yeah, Brad, when you take a look at this, I mean, it's, it's no huge surprise that we are seeing some sort of disagreement here. Gunlock has been very vocal. He spoke at Yahoo Finance Invest, our conference. They're sitting down with Brian Sazi uh, earlier this year, just, a, just just last month, talking about the fact that he does anticipate a bumpy road ahead, talking about the fact that we do have this risk of recession. So we get this dovish comments here from the Fed. And he also went on to say that the economy is going to undershoot to the downside and that is going to create a response. He thinks that the Fed is going to have to have a lot of money printing here to offset some of that. And of course, this is on the heels of the dovish signals from the Fed yesterday that did send yields lower. Bill Gross, though, a little bit more apprehensive, saying that where yields are today, right around that 4% level, he thinks is where they should be, at least for now. Yeah, he went on to say bond strategy should continue to focus on return to positive yield curve um, and gave some of his own positions. Uh, and he had said yesterday that it's a great day for that curve, as you were mentioning a moment ago. Um, I don't like the Eagles versus 49ers reference that he made. Bill, shouting you out on that, unfortunately. Regional banks and mortgage rates up 4 to 5% today, kicking butt like the 49ers versus the Eagles. Too soon. Too soon. Yeah. Too soon for that was these cheap two shot. Eagles fans. Yeah. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get redemption. We will.